I'm Dan Riskin. And it's raining lizards. Hallelujah, it's raining lizards. It's not really raining lizards. They're just falling out of trees. But I didn't know any songs that involved men falling out of trees, so I, I went with that song. So here's the thing. With climate change, we know that temperatures are gonna change around the world by different amounts. But the other thing we expect is that extreme weather events are gonna become more common. Things like hurricanes, tornadoes, or a heat wave in a place that's normally cold, or a cold snap in a place that's normally warm. And that is exactly what happened in South Florida on January 22nd of 2020. It got so cold that lizards were literally falling out of the trees. And James T. Stroud, who works on lizards, all of a sudden started getting these text messages from people he knew down there where he'd done field work, showing him pictures of all these lizards that fell out of trees. Because the thing is, 4.4 degrees Celsius is perfectly fine if you're a chickadee in Saskatoon, but it is mighty cold if you're a tropical lizard living in South Florida. In fact, that is the coldest temperature that that region has seen in the last decade. So James Stroud went down there and started measuring these lizards because he had done a study in 2016 comparing the thermal tolerance of six different kinds of lizards that live right there. And so he thought it would be interesting to see if that had changed after this event. And here's what he does. Basically, he takes a lizard, puts it in a box, and cools the lizard down, and every minute or so, turns it on its back and sees if it can get back up on its feet. And the lizard keeps doing this automatically, but at some temperature, it gets so cold that once you put it on its back, it can't get back on its feet. Now that cutoff temperature is different for different species, but after the cold snap, all the species have the same cutoff, just below that 4.4 degrees Celsius. So this is a really big deal because all that variability went away. And when he measured a week after the event, all the species were consistent. And when he went back 10 weeks later, all the species were still consistent. What we don't know is whether this was a physiological change that happened in response to that cold snap, it's possible, or is this evolution in action? Did all the lizards that normally can't handle those cold temperatures die, leaving only the cold tolerant ones behind? That's the question they're going to try to answer next. For ctvnews.ca, I'm Dan Riskin.